<laughs> Grandmaster Joe. Great to see you. And what is in your office? What's on your table? My niece. Um, so that's my family. alma mater. <laughs> yeah, so family is important to you. Uh, baseball stuff and things that come from your part of the world that visitors give me. Yeah, I I gave you this in 2007。这个就是我零七年送给周送给周大爷的一个小礼物，我从香港带过来的。到到今天还在他的办公室里，我特别的感动。This yeah. <laughs> Rubbish bit is something I've always remembered. It's one yes, of the most memorable things. I went to Rupert Murdoch's office one day, and this was before the digital age, you know, when everything in communicated was on paper. And he had this huge trash bucket in his office. And I was really impressed with it. So I called his secretary back and I said, Oh, God, I want one just like that. Where did you get that? And at first, she was like making, being very secretive. So finally, she relented and told me where to get it. So I got it, and I've had it with me ever since, even though today we don't use much paper. I mean, yeah, this is genuine it's leather. leather. Leather with a bit of gold yeah. on the side. Yeah. Who are some other famous people? that have walked through these doors. Jack Ma? Uh, his people have been here for a while uh, when they needed some office space. Oh, really? You lent them office space? Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, our founding investors, the Agnelli family, Right. The owner and founder of IKEA. Let's see, Santo Domingo from Colombia, South America. You know, I've seen so many people walk through this office because my old cubicle was just yeah. right out there. And I remember when Vivi Nevo, I don't, I don't know if yeah, you remember. Yeah, the Israeli. I mean, the Israeli billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at, who was dating Zhang Ziyi, Ziyi yeah. Zhang, yeah. who's a huge Chinese actress. Yeah. And actually, they were engaged. Tell us the backstory. Why did it? Why did it not I happen? I don't know. I didn't get into his <laughs> personal life. You want to know all that? I didn't ask. <laughs> anyway. What is Vivi Nevo like? He, you know, a very smart, colorful, um, energetic. Uh, I would say tightly wound. Uptight. Uh, no, just he's, you know, there's there's no excess fat on him. That's what I mean about tight, you know? <laughs> and uh, uh, very smart and uh, an expert on the media space. So this is Zhang Ziyi's Vv Nevo. When I was there, I also saw him directly go to this Do you remember Kartik? Kartik. And Kartik yeah, and Nabil. Yeah, from India. And, yeah, and so uh, in the IELTS class, because we would often work late, we'd often work through the night. Yeah. And at night, when everybody left, we would kick off our shoes. So I kick off my high heels. You know, the, the guys would kick off their their leather shoes, and we would run around. I remember there was one night when I sat here and Kartik sat sat there, <laughs> and we looked at each other. And said, this is what it feels like to be Joe Peter. <laughs> and then Kartik from Peter's phone called your phone, and then we had a little telephone meeting. <laughs> yeah, fun. Can I sit in your chair again? Sure. Famous than I am. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, my feet don't touch the floor. I, I'm not no, as. No, that's because I have it up high, but I could lower it for you. No, but this is great. So, view of Central Park. Right. View of Peter's face if you look straight up. Right. And then a view of the bullpen. Yep. Okay. That's our first check for $3 million. Ooh. You said they like numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. That was from Cosidra, a private equity firm in Italy, Claudio Sposito. You know, it's, it's like a, a, a classic thing to do when someone had like a little grocery store and the first sale they made, they took the dollar bill and framed it and put it up. So when you walk into these family-owned places, they have a a little frame with their first dollar. So that was, that's where we got the idea. Claudio sent us that. 
I remember you bought this 10 years, 10, 15 years ago. I bought this was the first painting I bought for the new company because I wanted, you know, what I thought was an important painting. And how much was this piece then? It was then, it was two. 200,000, two million. 2 million USD, 200,000. So this is you sitting in my old cube. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Jay, nice to meet you. This was, this was my first cube, my first year. And then I upgraded. This is my first year. And then I upgraded to that cube. This was the best cube. These are like wireless headsets. It's always good to come back and see you, Grandmaster Joe. Send my love to Amy. I will. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.